Okay, so here's the deal. I think ClickFunnels is an amazing tool and it is my favorite go-to software when it comes to building online sales funnels. But it can have its tricky parts. And in my personal opinion, at least when I started out, one of the trickiest parts is how does it work when you want to add your custom domain? How does it work with URLs and with paths? So this is what I will be covering in this video. And I'm logged into ClickFunnels right now. I'm in the funnel. And the first thing I want to show you is where to find your funnel URL. All you have to do is hover over and click this button right here, which says visit the funnel URL. So I will be taken to the funnel front end page. And here you can see this is the URL of the funnel. So what ClickFunnels does is it gives the funnel a default URL, which always includes the ClickFunnels here. And since this does not look very professional, we want to make sure that we add our custom domain to it. To do that, all we have to do is go back to ClickFunnels and head over to the account settings. In the account settings, we find the domains right here. Let's click on it. Now we see that we already added the domain. And if I want to add a new domain to it, because I'm having a new funnel, then all I want to do is go here and say, add new domain. It takes me to this page where I can add a new domain. And if I don't already have a domain, I can just go and say, choose a new domain. It takes me to this page where I can search for domain availability. And let's give it a try. Let's say I want to say my awesome course. MyAwesomeCourse.com is free and it is $20. So let's click here. And then it takes you to this page and you just have to pay the $20 and you already have the domain in your account. Let's not do that right now. Let's see. Let's say I already have a domain for the specific funnel. So what would I do in that case? I would go back and then I would say, add your own domain. So click here, use an existing domain. Then enter the domain you have. So for example, conversion blueprint.com and click on add domain. Next, you want to connect your domain to ClickFunnels. And depending on where you bought the domain, the process will be slightly different. So click here and make sure to check the detailed instructions and follow the steps there. It is really straightforward and it takes you through it step by step. After you've done that, you click I've done the step and then it will add the domain to your ClickFunnels account. Here you will see all the domains that you have added to your account and then you can just copy them and go back to the funnel. Now I'm back in the funnel and I want to add the domain to the funnel by clicking on settings and then I can select a custom domain here. It's important to know that every funnel needs his own custom domain. Let's select that and then always make sure that you clear out the path and then go and save and update settings. And now you already have added this custom domain to your funnel. The next thing you want to do is you want to adjust all the URLs and path and make them readable and make them look professional. So how is this done? You go to the individual funnel steps and first thing you do is you go on publishing. Then you just delete the path here and say, for example, webinar registration and you update the funnel step. So you can already see it is updated here, but there's another place where we need to adjust this. And this is when we go down here and then we change the name and we also change the path right here and update the funnel step. So now we have this nice looking URL without the click funnels, looks much more professional. And this is basically what you want to repeat with every step of the funnel. And this is how you get your URLs and paths and custom domains set within ClickFunnels. If you found this video to be helpful, I would appreciate if you can give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, then consider subscribing to my channel. I would love to see you in another video.